Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to cover Chapter 4, Part 3, uh, Form Factors, Power Supplies, as part of our A-plus uh, computer repair series. Protecting your computer system. Electrical threats to a computer system. We've got several. Static electricity being probably the, the most dangerous. We also have electromagnetic interference. Could be from a motor or something that's causing some interference. Power surges, line surges from the power generating station. Big problem. Objectives in this section. Understand the nature of each of these threats and learn how to protect your system from these threats. Static electricity. Now, static electricity, electrostatic discharge or ESD. This is due to a change of difference between the user and the device. Uh, touching a device causes the discharge or the damage to the device don't have to do much. You can just uh, rub your arm across your shirt or your blouse and touch a component. That's usually enough static electricity to damage a component. ESD is particularly severe in dry and cold climates. So if it's dry, you can go across the carpet and you can, get, you can pick up static electricity and feel a discharge. That's a big threat to a computer. How to protect a system from ESD. Need to use ground uh, bracelets or ESD gloves. Uh, touch computer case before touching the components. Can't uh, tell you how much of a problem this is. Once you take a computer component out of a computer, it is very subject now to an ESD discharge. So if you carry it across the room, it's very likely to destroy it, unless you protect it by putting it into an anti-static bag and protecting it that way. Uh, safety rule, unplug uh, your power cords before working a case. Uh, residual power in a plugged-in device can cause damage. Uh, EMI, electromagnetic interference, caused by magnetic fields generated by current flow. Again, motors are probably some of the most common common causes of EMI. Now, RFI, that's radio frequency interference. Uh, radio frequencies can come from a lot of different sources. We can have microwave, uh, cell phones. Uh, the crosstalk problems. A crosstalk is data in cables uh, crossing, so we have the fields that actually uh, influence each other in the wires, and this can corrupt our data and cause problems. Uh, we can control uh, crosstalk by shielding cables and uh, in the power supply. Uh, use a tuned down AM radio. We can turn an AM radio either to the high or low end, and we can usually pick up the EMI from the radio, just turn the volume up. Other ways, other ways to protect a device or an EMI, we can use line conditioners, uh, filtering out electrical noise, and we can also move the PC to a new location. Oftentimes, just moving the PC from one wall to another uh, might eliminate some of the problems that you're experiencing. Surge protection and battery backup. Storms and uneven AC uh, flow cause power surges. We can prevent power surges by installing some kind of an AC filter. Types of devices used to manage power surges. We can have surge suppressor, uh, power conditioners, and we can also use UPS or the uninterruptible power supply. UPS is my choice. It's a little more expensive, but it'll keep your computer running even if the power goes completely out. And a smart UPS once it senses the power is gone, will automatically uh, bring your computer down. This can save valuable time, valuable data that you might otherwise lose. Uh, use devices with our UL, our Underwriter Laboratory logo. Uh, surge suppressors, also uh, called a surge protector. They usually look like power strips. Protects equipment from sudden changes in power. Works by absorbing and or blocking the surge. Recommended features. Uh, there's joules ratings uh, that is generally greater than 600 joules. Uh, protection activated in less than 2 nanoseconds, so they're very quick. Uh, warranty for connected equipment and the UL seal. There's lights indicating that the surge protection is working. Uh, data line protectors both for telephone and for modems. This is good for storms. Storms with uh, Electricity, uh, lightning can cause problems with your modem and also put surges on the lines. Uh, let through uh, voltage rating and line noise filtering. Here looks like a power strip, but this is actually a surge protector. Protector, And on the one end there, on the far end to the left, you can see there are some plug-ins uh, for telephone and modems. 
power conditioners, uh, sometimes called line conditioners. Uh, functions, protect against spikes, swells, voltage surges. Uh, raise voltages during uh, brownouts. Load uh, supported, uh, measured in watts or volt amps. Voltage times amps uh, gives you power or watts. Determine the VA needed uh, to support your system. Just multiply the amps uh, of each component by 120 volts. That gives you the power of the watts. Or we call it uh, VA or volt amps. Add up the volt amps for each, each component. Uh, and uninterruptible power supplies. This is again my favorite choice. Uh, UPS uh, refers to three benefits. Conditions aligned in the amount of, uh, or, or account for any brownouts or spikes. Uh, provides power backup when the AC completely fails or you get a blackout so you can still run your computer long enough to get the power down uh, without losing your data. Provides protection against very high spikes. Completely isolate you from the lines. Designs uh, standby, inline, and and line interactive. Smart, intelligent. So a little sense of uh, power failure and bring your computer down uh, normally so it doesn't just immediately lose power. Uh, what uh, to consider when buying an UPS? UPS rating should uh, exceed uh, the VA load by at least 25%. Uh, degree of line conditioning, uh, warrants, guarantees, and service policies. The Energy Star systems, the Green Star. The Energy Star systems have the U.S. Green Star. This indicates the device meets an energy conserving standards. Devices, computers, monitors, printers, copiers, and faxes. Uh, Energy Star came about by our EPA, Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, computers need to be turned off to lower the power that's needed by our power grids. Uh, people used to just walk away from computers and leave them on. This put a big load on our power grid because of all the computers used. So an Energy Star system will automatically have uh, power management features that will bring that power down automatically. Controls of Energy Star, uh, a.k.a. green uh, standards uh, reduce overall electricity consumption, uh, protect and preserve our natural resources. How computer components meet these standards uh, uses standby programs for switching to a sleep mode. No more than 30 watts are used uh, during the sleep mode. Power management methods and features. Methods used to meet this ENERGY STAR standards. We have now an advanced uh, configuration of power interface or ACPI. Uh, standard used by most desktops and notebooks today comprises four uh, power saving modes, S1 through S4. Some features are uh, controlled by our BIOS. Others are also controlled by Windows. Advanced Power Management Older System, AP, uh, APM specification, the AT attachment, ATA for uh, various drives. Also, there is a display power management uh, signaling for your monitor and your video card. Uh, here's the power management uh, in the BIOS setup screen uh, showing your, your management features. Energy Star monitors. Uh, this is the display power management signaling, the DPMS. The specification applies to both the video card and the monitor. allows both devices to simultaneously enter a sleep mode, bringing the power down again. You can see the logo on the left-hand side there for your Energy Star. In review, electrical threats. We talked about a lot of electrical threats. We can have surges or spikes in our line. We can have EMI, uh, RFI. Biggest problem is power loss. And ups, again, is going to completely isolate you from the line and allow you to have power for a few minutes so you can bring your computer down without losing data. Really important for servers. So you don't want uh, to lose your data or corrupt your data when the server uh, loses power. Protection. Different protection devices, again, the UPS is probably the one I mostly recommend. We need to put at least surge protections on all our desktops. Power management, real important, part of the Energy Star program. Uh, there's automatic power uh, down features in your computer, in your BIOS. We also have power management features in Windows. Activities, what is the best protection against electrical threats and why? I want you to research that, discuss, and explain to me why you think it's the best. Uh, lab 4.3, uh, replacing a power supply. Once you actually replace, replace the power supply in a computer, you'll find it's pretty easy. Once you've done it, you'll have the experience and, and you'll know how to do it again in the future if you need to. There's some review questions at the end. I want you to turn those in. Uh, thank you very much. This is the end of uh, Chapter 4, Part 3.